There's, and we have a big surprise after that. What's going on Holy Venomites? Holy Venom here. And the big surprise that we're discussing in this video is Create a Fighter. First, we'll be taking a look at the interview back in 2023 last summer. Next, we'll be looking at the post credit scene that gives us a clue what the big surprise is from Mortal Kombat 1 Story Mode. And then next, we'll be looking at a couple of the quote-unquote creative fighter characters that we see in Invasions Mode, with some proof with some images of the selection screen of the roster. Also, I wanted to ask, especially to the fans, what can we expect to the franchise in the next few years, maybe? Well, we, just like we did with Mortal Kombat 11, we're going to release a second part with more story, you know, there's, and we have a big surprise after that. Um, so we're going to be supporting the game for uh, even longer than we did with Mortal Kombat 11. So it's, it's going to be fun. So now, since that interview, and to this day, Ed Boon has not reviewed what the big surprise is. That only leaves us to speculate and to use some common sense and, you know, process of elimination here of what could be it. Since he revealed animalities last year in 2023 San Diego Comic Con, that's not the big surprise. Chaos Reigns expansion is not the big surprise because he clearly says Chaos Reigns. Now, what would make sense as to what the surprise is, I wonder? Hmm? Let's go on more. He struggles. Everyone who fought today did so fiercely. <laughs> Had I not been here for it, I would have thought it impossible. Warriors from across timelines clashing in combat. <laughs> the blood, the death. The chaos. Yes, Lord Havoc. It's unfortunate it all ended so fast. The next time, it won't. Now, what we see here is creative fighters. The first one being Tanya and Katana. The second being Quan Chi and Sub Zero. And the third person with the green hair could possibly be Liu Kang and Kenshi, maybe? However, that is our clue at the end of Mortal Kombat 1 story mode, with Titan Havoc bringing his chaotic creative fighters to wreak havoc in the new era. If that doesn't scream creative fighter, I don't know what does. And I'm not sure what more proof anyone else needs. Oh wait, I got some more proof. Here we go. Now here is what the roster looked like before the very first DLC patch with Combat Pack 1. You had that corner with the plus sign on it. We thought that was Creative Fighter, so we waited. And we waited. And we waited until finally we got this roster for Combat Pack 2. Doesn't look like this now per se because everything is unlocked. Omni-Man, Takeda, Ermac, Homelander, all the DLC characters for Combat Pack 1 are unlocked or available. However, it did change monumentally in a certain way. Right below Reptile, in between Johnny Cage and Liu Kang, that little logo appeared after the first DLC Combat Pack 1 patch. Now, it's not random select because if you press X for the Xbox or Square for the PlayStation, that's how you get random select. Now, 
since the first patch for DLC has dropped that dragon logo icon between Donny Cage and Rep Johnny Cage and Liu Kang and Below Reptile, that has been that has been like that forever. The Warrior Shrine also has yet to be accessible since day one. What else could it possibly mean? What else would make sense? I, I need I say more? I think you all got it, but just in case you don't, here's some more proof right here. Now the first example we're looking at here is Smokecon, a mixture of Smoke and General Shao, Shao Khan. Now, if it possibly, maybe be a tease or Easter egg, possibly a tease to wait. That does sound familiar. Smoke on, smoke in, smoke in. Is Ed Poon trying to tease us with the mask being a DLC character in the near future? I don't know, but maybe. You heard it here first. I hope so, because it'd be perfect for Mortal Kombat One. Next we have Kung Z, a mixture of Kung Lao and Kenshi. Yeah, Kenshi's uh, telekinesis, and you have Kung Lao's hat throw. Next example we have is Demon Eye, that is Ashra and Kano. In this game, Kano is just a cameo character. Lastly, we have Scorp Lao. And that is Scorpion and Kung Lao. As you see, he has Kung Lao's stance and everything with Scorpion's spear. So that's cool. In conclusion, we are getting Korean Fighter. I provided more than enough proof, more than enough evidence, more than enough clarity, more than enough explicit breakdown with everything. Also, I have more examples in my Creative Fighter playlist, if you want to check them out. There's more than just what is in this video. So, here we are. Here's the proof. You're getting Creative Fighter. The proof is right there in the pudding. I broke down for you. Have a great day. Check out these two videos at the end, and God bless. Being in the world, but not of the world, allows you to see the evil of the world. Be of Christ Jesus, for he is the truth, so shall he also show you the truth of all things.